What's up guys, Carlos here. So we finally got some footage of Predator Hunting Grounds, so let's talk about it. Now before we start, let me remind you that what you see here is from a pre-alpha build, so if things don't look as good as you expected, just give it more time. There's also a blog post on the PlayStation website about the game, which I will mention in the video. So the first thing we can go over is the music that was heard at the start of the trailer. It's an homage to the song that was in the movie during the helicopter scene. Now inside the helicopter, you'll see a cassette with the words, Ain't Got Time To Bleed, which is a reference to Blaine's line after he got shot in the campsite. The game is multiplayer only. This decision was made because the team felt it was the best way to deliver their vision for the project, to recreate the feeling of dread, of being hunted by something stronger and faster than you, and the thrill of being the one to do the hunting. The game will be about one predator versus four human soldiers in a fire team. They drop down into the map and they move out to accomplish a specific mission. Along the way, they will run into enemy AI, objects to collect or destroy, and then they have to get out. The gameplay was meant to stay fast paced and intense, something that was displayed in the trailer. There's going to be two points of attack down on the ground and up in the trees. The predator was given access to hopping and running along the trees. Most of the inspiration was taken from the 1987 movie because that's the one most loved by the fans. The game also takes place decades into the future, so they did find a way to incorporate the story of the other films into this one. You will also find some information about Project Stargazer, which was taken from the most recent film. The Predator's movement was nicknamed Predcore, which is a nod to parkour, but with Predator. It was something the team worked on for a while until they got it right. They wanted a system for the Predator to move with little effort, so you feel inhuman with your ability to jump and run around the map. This also explains why the Predator is played in third person for his movement and agility, while the humans are played in first person. They mention that while the Predator is powerful, it can still bleed. The human fire team is all about combat awareness. Even when the Predator is invisible, it can still be tracked. As it moves around the world, its location is given away by clicks and movements in the trees and ground. The fire team will focus on communication, callouts, and teamwork, while the Predator will wait for the right moment to strike a single target. So now let's talk about what we think about the game. Now the idea sounds pretty good, it's different and unique, but the only downside I can see, aside from it being an exclusive to PlayStation 4, is that it is a multiplayer game only, so it will only last as long as the community will play online. Now maybe in the future we might get a single player update, maybe. So what do you think about the gameplay footage of Predator Hunting Grounds? Do you like how it plays? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos or Acid Glow, and I'll see you on the next video.